General's Commissioners and staff, welcome to the June 30th, uh, 2014 public hearing meeting for the Greater House Planning Commission. I now call this meeting to order. As most of you are aware, the Planning Commission serves as an advisory body to local member governments regarding land use requests. The determinations made here tonight will be reported to the applicable local governments for, as recommendations. We are a recommending body only. Final determinations regarding tonight's request will be made to the appropriate local governments at their respective meetings. Even if the Planning Commission recommends denial or tabling of an item, it will still go to the local government for final decision. All interested persons should attend the local government public hearing regarding these requests. All of the cases we will review tonight are listed on the agenda, which is available on the podium located in the back of the room where you enter. If you did not pick up a copy when you entered, you may do so now. Also available on the podium are handouts which outline the ground rules under which the meetings will, will be conducted. The handouts also include standards for conducting public hearings. During the meeting, I will call each request in the order that they appear on the agenda. Staff will then present the report regarding the request and give their recommendations. The commissioners may have discussion with the staff at that time. I will next call for those wishing to speak in favor of the request and then for those wishing to speak against the request. If you wish to speak in regard, if you, if you wish to speak in regard to a request, please come forward at the appropriate time, state your name, your address, and then give your presentation. Fairness and equity for both sides is our goal. State law requires that we allow 10 minutes to each side of an issue. In the interest of time, we ask that you keep your comments brief so that all who wish to speak may have time to be heard. We also ask that the information given by the prior speaker not be repeated. If you choose to speak regarding the application, please direct all comments to the Planning Commission Board only. Do not direct comments to the staff, applicants, or those in the audience. Do not turn towards the audience or solicit debate from others. Please keep all comments polite and to the point. Once public participation is closed, all further discussion of an application is reserved for the Planning Commission. The handouts previously mentioned is also included a copy of the standards for exercise of zoning powers, which are the guidelines we use to determine whether or not to request is consistent with the comprehensive plan. These standards are significant factors we use in making our decisions and final recommendations. The handouts also include a copy of Georgia's Conflict of Interest in Zoning Laws Guidelines. All planning commissioners will be asked to excuse themselves from acting on any matter in which the conflict by stating so at the beginning of the case. Final action on tonight's application will be as follows. The Lowndes County case, final action of the Lowndes County Board of Commissioners, Tuesday, Tuesday, June 10, 2014, um, Lowndes County Judicial Administration Complex, and that's all the cases that we have for the Lowndes County case for this month. Um, yeah, it should be July 10th, I'm sorry. Okay. Mr. Chairman, actually it'll be the second Tuesday in July, which is July 8th. I okay, July 8th. Um, we appreciate your attention to these housekeeping issues and again, welcome you to our meeting. Mr. Funder, if you would remind, um, give us a prayer and then we can send the pledge. Yes, sir. 